Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos because you love my New World cichlids. However, I do have a group of African cichlids. These guys don't get as much attention. However, we're gonna change that today. So the debate continues, which is better, African cichlids or New World cichlids? Some people would argue that one group is more colorful than the other, while some would say that the other group is more personable than the other. For me personally, African cichlids are the fish that got me into the hobby, while New World cichlids are the fish that got me addicted to the hobby. Both of these fish are awesome. Now if you look at my aquariums, if you look at my videos, you'll see that I tend to favor New World Cichlids, and if I'm honest, I do prefer New World Cichlids. However, in this video, I want to prove to you guys that African Cichlids are just as awesome. So this right here is my 125 gallon African Cichlid tank. Now there are many different types of African Cichlids, ranging in different sizes and colors and shapes and temperaments and really a huge roster of African Cichlids to choose from. But today we're going to be focused on Mbona Cichlids which come from Lake Malawi. These are rock dwelling herbivorous fish. These are probably the most common type of African cichlids available in the hobby and they definitely are great for beginners. So with that being said, today I want to give you guys the top 5 reasons why you should keep Mbona cichlids. Okay everyone, the first reason why Mbona cichlids are awesome and they're worth being kept is because these fish will develop a very intense social structure. Now all cichlids in a community, they will develop a hierarchy. However, I find that in bonus cichlids, they take it up a few notches. These guys are just very serious about their rank and position. And it's to the point where adult Mbona are willing to fight babies. It's to the point where Mbona are willing to fight plecos and fish that are of different species. And it's just because they really take it serious of their rank. Every rank and every higher position matters and these fish show it. And that just makes for a very entertaining aquarium. I could come to this tank and I could always catch drama. The other day I caught a red zebra cichlid and a yellow lab cichlid fighting. And I must say it was pretty awesome to witness. Now I know some of you guys will be saying, why would I want my fish to fight? And it's not so much that I want my fish to fight, however I am satisfied when I see my fish displaying natural behavior, and this fighting is natural. If you look at videos of Lake Malawi and these Mabona cichlids in the wild, you can actually see them fighting in the wild, which I find to be very shocking. In the wild they have so much space, males, they have all the females they could ever want, and yet they fight. And it just shows the nature of these fish, it's in their genes, these guys have agility, they have speed, they have strength, and they use it on each other. And um, it's just pretty cool to witness it in my aquarium. And when they do fight, it's never to the point of death. It's rarely to the point of any severe damage. If it is to that point, I can easily break it up. But like I said, rarely does it get that serious. And it's because these fish, like I said, are built for just such a combat and lifestyle. Now this has to be one of the greatest highlights of a Mabona Aquarium. And it's just the action. This is a very action-packed aquarium and there's always something new occurring when it comes to ranks and just the social structure. Now that fight that you saw earlier, that was a fight in a middle rank, so nothing too changing when it comes to the overall position of the aquarium. However, recently we had a more intense fight and that was of tank bosses. So on my last fish room tour, which was like last week, um, you guys saw that my Cobalt Blue Zebra, he was my tank boss, and he was just defeated by my Albino Red Top Zebra, so now this guy is the new tank boss, and this guy so far is being extremely aggressive, he's actually trying to conquer half the aquarium, which is a little bit disturbing, I might have to get in there and do a rescape and take away some of his territory, but this just shows how entertaining an African Cichlid tank is, if you're watching this tank, it's going to keep you at the edge of your seat, and um, that's just one of the reasons why these guys are worth keeping. Okay everyone, the next reason why Mbona cichlids are a great choice is because these are one of the few groups of fish that offer instant gratification when it comes to color. Most fish will force us to be patient, especially if you're like me. I like buying my fish as juveniles for a number of reasons. When you buy them as juveniles, they're cheaper, but mainly when you buy them as juveniles, you get to watch them transform into adults, which I believe is an amazing process. However, it does come with a price, and the price is that you have to wait sometimes years for your fish to fully develop and to be beautiful. And that's the case with a lot of my Central and South American cichlids. A lot of these guys, I waited years for them to start showing true picture perfect color. And it's just their natural safety, it's their natural response in the wild. These guys, a lot of times, 
If they're bright as young, they're making themselves a target. So instead, they wait until they're adults when they're able to defend themselves. And that's when they start showing color. And a lot of times, they are not able to defend themselves until they're like two, three years old. And it's the reason why you have to wait a long time with Central and South American cichlids to show color. However, it's not the same with your African cichlids, specifically Mabuna cichlids, because these guys, they live in the rocks of Lake Malawi. So the baby fish is just as safe as the adult fish because they all rely on the same rocks. And I believe that's the reason why your baby African cichlid, your baby Mabuna, is going to show amazing color from birth. Now, in my African cichlid tank, I have newborns, I have yellow labs, I have yellowtail ACI. These guys show an intense color at very small sizes, and it's common with Mabuna. You could go and you could buy yourself a full rainbow of Mabuna cichlids at very small sizes, and I believe that's one of the things that separate Mabuna from many other fish. As juveniles, they look incredible. Now, there are a few that do take time. There are a few that will require size to blossom. However, for the most part, you could get yourself a full collection of colors with these Mabuna cichlids at one inch and have just your full dream tank right away. Another reason why Mabuna cichlids are nice to have is because these are fish that actually help clean your aquarium. And it goes with their natural behavior. And while Mabuna cichlids are algae eaters and they spend a the majority of their day grazing on algae because it takes a long time for them to collect enough algae to satisfy their diet. So naturally, they're built to look for food all day. This behavior carries over into the aquarium. Now, a lot of times we don't really have much algae for them to eat in the aquarium. So instead, they start sifting through sand and looking in cracks and crannies, searching for uneaten foods. And this behavior is incredibly beneficial. It lessens the chance of any food getting caught in cracks and crannies or rotten in your aquarium and just keeps everything stirred up. If you have a sandy substrate, it's great because they keep it stirred up. They dig through to make sure there's no food at the bottom that's starting to rot and create ammonia. And just really, that constant search for food is highly beneficial because throughout the entire time that the lights are on, they're looking for food, they're looking for those those flakes that got into those cracks and crannies. It just makes me sleep a lot better because I know that this tank has a far less chance of food rotting in because these fish are always searching for that food. The next reason why Mbuna cichlids are a great fish to keep is because they are incredibly easy to breed. Now these fish are mouth brooders, so that means that the female, she will lay eggs and then she will scoop the eggs up in her mouth. The male will fertilize the eggs once they're in her mouth and then she's gonna take care of the eggs until they hatch and she's even gonna take care of those babies and they're gonna be in her mouth anywhere between 30 to 45 days. The process is just extremely incredible. And I think that that's the best method of breeding, especially in community aquariums. It causes very little stress for the tank mates. And um, sometimes it goes unnoticeable. Sometimes I come to my tank and I find babies and I didn't even see any signs of breeding. So it's just a very controlled and um, just more organized way of breeding in my opinion. Um, compared to the way new world cichlids breed. When new world cichlids breed, you're definitely going to know. They're going to fight. They're going to cause chaos. They're going to conquer territories. And sometimes when new world cichlids breed, it can be very annoying because it comes with so much aggression. When we're born to breed, it does come with some aggression, but for the most part, it's nowhere near as crazy as when new world cichlids breed. And you just have a lot more control. Now, if you want your Mabona cichlids to survive, just add a lot of rocks into the aquarium and eventually you will get some that survive. If you want 100% survival rate, just separate the female into a different aquarium. Like I said, with Mabona cichlids, I feel as if you have a lot more control and it's just a lot more organized and it's just the better way of breeding, especially in community aquariums. Okay, everyone, the final reason why Mabuna cichlids are a great option and why they're worth keeping is because these fish have great personality. Now, this is one of the biggest arguments when it comes to why New World cichlids are better than African cichlids. People say that New World cichlids have greater personalities, but I believe that they both have awesome personalities. The main reason why we don't really see that interaction with African cichlids and with Mabuna cichlids is just because we don't give them the same opportunities. With New World cichlids, we keep these fish sometimes solo. Like I keep Indonimus by himself, and then you have people that keep flower horns by themselves. You have people that keep jaguars and dovis by themselves. And whenever you keep a fish by itself, it's forced to create a relationship with you, the fish keeper. And I believe the same thing would happen with African cichlids. It's just we don't like keeping African cichlids by themselves. African cichlids are colorful fish, and we want to get as many as we can, so we stuff them in the community. In the community, they're going to communicate and relate with each other, and they're going to ignore us, except for like feeding times and stuff like that. I do believe it is possible to have a very interactive African cichlid. I've actually had one. Years ago, I had a crazy hybrid that was extremely aggressive. And this fish was just 
I can't even describe this fish. He was outgoing. He was just the most boldest, bravest fish I've ever had. And at this moment, I wish I had him now because I would have proved to you guys that African cichlids have just as much personality as New World cichlids. This guy was in my monster aquarium at the time, fighting all my monster fish. And then when I stuck my own hand in the tank, he fought me. Just proving that these guys have a ton of personality. They're willing to go back and forth and interact with us. It's just a matter of us keeping them in those same conditions. If you want an interactive African cichlid that's going to be full of personality, you need to keep that African cichlid by himself. And when he's by himself, he's going to relate with you and you're going to unleash a ton of personality. Now, this is something that I want to prove and I'm just going to have to wait. I do have some baby Mabuna in my African cichlid aquarium and it's just a matter of choosing the right one. I do believe um, that the more aggressive, the better off they're going to be because aggressive fish are just willing to express themselves a little bit more. The fish in that video was a hybrid king eye cichlid. The king eyes naturally are aggressive and then when you hybridize it, it just becomes even worse. At the moment, my female king eye, she is pregnant and she is pregnant with a hybrid or she is holding hybrid eggs. So there's a good chance I could get another one of those crazy fish again. And if I do get one, I will demonstrate to you guys how African cichlids do have much personality. It's just a matter of keeping them in those conditions where they could express their personality to their fish keepers. Okay, everyone, so those are my top five reasons why Mbuna cichlids should not be taken lightly. These are some awesome fish. And um, let me know in the comment section below if my argument was convincing. So being that these fish were such awesome fish, I want to give them a little bit of a treat. And we're just hand feeding some flakes. I already, already fed them some pellets, so this is just a little treat just for taste. I know a lot of you guys who have been following my channel for a while now, before I converted this into an African cichlid tank, a lot of you guys wanted me to turn into some Central or South American cichlid aquarium. And it makes sense because most of my fish are from Central and South America. However, when I created this in African cichlid tank, I knew it was just for me. It wasn't for you guys. Sometimes we got to do it. We got to do what's best for us. And for me, these African cichlids were best for me because the color, the behavior, and just the roots. These are the fish that got me into the hobby. So um, I think it's definitely worth keeping. And I think that if you have an extra tank and you're looking for something different, you should definitely try in bonus cichlids because these fish are awesome. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to thank everybody again for all your support. Thank you for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look at this fish. That guy is looking awesome. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys on the next one.